Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time we're talking about Floyd Jones going back to the uh, 40s and 50s. Um, I want to talk about his probably most famous song, Dark Road and On the Road Again. The music is just about the same. There's two versions of Dark Road. One's on the J-O-B label, one's on Chess. Um, came out in the early 50s. But it really feels like it's from another era, even like from another century. Um, it's got that otherworldly, spooky quality, haunting quality, I guess, that uh, the great pre-war blues has. And um, I see Floyd Jones as kind of an archetypal figure who like embodies a certain moment, kind of like kind of like John Brim for uh, the more classic band Chicago blues. Floyd Jones is kind of like that. Um, I mean, nothing fancy, not a dazzling guitar player, just a, just great blues music. And, you know, singing that sort of really touches you because it's so personal. So this is great for beginning guitar players to just get something going. This is not one of, I mean, there's an E chord. And on the chess version, there's an A chord. I'm not quite hearing it on the J-O-B version. All right, let's try it out. Are you ready? So I got this two finger E chord and I'm gonna use my pinky. It starts with the third fret on the E string. So you first you have your E. Um, I've got it from reliable sources because Floyd Jones was active uh, in the 80s, uh, mostly on bass, but uh, he, lived from 1917 to 89 so there's lots of people around who knew Floyd Jones who saw Floyd Jones play I missed him unfortunately but anyway um, he did not use a pick and he didn't use uh, finger picks or anything so that's basically the concept Yeah, little Arthur did a great version of, of this with his own lyrics called called uh, Singing with the Sun. And uh, I played on it with uh, Billy Flynn. And it's a really nice sort of update of this song. Uh, and uh, I remember little Arthur recorded it on a cassette tape with uh, just beating the beat on the table. And uh, that was the song demo that we did it from. Anyway, here we go. And that must be the Jimmy Rogers part there. It's kind of more fancy. Um, in fact, let's loop it. Here we go. Two, three, four. And then pinky on the third for see that roll? Second finger. So there's the loop. You can play right in the middle for the Jimmy Rogers part. It's hard to hear it. Yeah. So then there's a part that goes. Because we're heading up to this climax. This happens twice. There's two bars. And Jimmy Rogers changes early, two and a half bars, um, of the uh, four chord. There we go. You can just walk into the four like that. Da, da. I got a one finger A chord. First fret up to the second fret. Then your third finger on the fourth fret, A string. Yeah. Stop walking down. Some roll. Yeah. 
Yeah. If you could do a beat on the table. Kind of like that. You got it going on. So I really like this two finger E chord here, but you can play it how you want to. You can play it with the A string or with the D string and bump into the A string. See how I did this and then I roll over second finger to the second fret A string. Yeah. So that's basically the size of it. Um, you really have to follow the lyrics as to when he goes to the four chord. I think it's the third verse. And uh, it's a real climactic thing to go to the four chord. And then this. This is pinky on the third fret. Second fret of the of the B string. I'm talking about the B string. It's kind of Arthur Crudup style for the ending. The doon doon, the doon doon, the dum da jing a dang, you know. So there you have it. I hope this helps you get going. Maybe some of you out there got to see Floyd Jones. Um, he did make some cool records on Earwig uh, towards the end of his life. Love to hear your stories about Floyd Jones. So thanks for watching. Have a great one and see you next time. Here's a little bonus for you guys who made it this far. Uh, here's a clip of myself, Mark Bukic on harp and Mark Mume from um, near down uh, Southern California. We're playing this song and hope you guys enjoy our little version. Uh, check out his work with the Silver Kings and his own YouTube channel. He's really into the early electric blues and uh, they do a great job with this kind of music. And uh, check them out. Three, four. <laughs>
stuff. That was good. Yeah.